Hello traders and welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PIFX. I hope you are doing well and um, yeah we are looking forward for the upcoming week. We have a lots of news event next week so it's gonna be um, a bumpy one maybe so uh, let's take a look at all the measures including gold and oil as usual and uh, while I wrote the interim disclaimer please guys hit that like button for me if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe yeah see you there so welcome back guys um, as you see we do have um, a lot of news events on the calendar uh, Monday may, might be a slow uh, London session since it is bank holiday um, in many countries in Europe and uh, we do have ISM manufacturing PMI during uh, New York session. Tuesday we have Aussie cash rate and uh, RBA rate statement. Uh, Wednesday we have GDP quarter and quarter from Australia. We have um, ADP non-farm employment change from the US, BOC rate statement and overnight rate from Canada. ISM non-manufacturing PMI from the US Thursday we have the main refinancing rate for the uh, ECB and the monetary statement and also a press conference so Thursday gonna be an important one and Friday the usual NFP and uh, employment change and unemployment rate from the CAD so as you see many currencies gonna move um, uh, this week um, uh, and uh, many news event to keep an eye at uh, as usual we will start with the Dixie on the daily time frame and um, yeah guys we've been talking about this uh, market last week and I uh, mentioned the lower high that we've got here that uh, could be an important signal uh, that this is uh, a second lower high after this one we got another one that was showing a uh, possibility for the bears to keep pushing and they really did they broke uh, out of the range and tested this uh, key structure level that I mentioned as well um, the market uh, pushed below that level um, uh, on Friday to then push back and close uh, above the uh, support so it, it this level is still not broken on the daily time frame as you see uh, on the lower time frame we see it clearly uh, the structure is uh, bearish on the four hour time frame and right now um, uh, after this break we were looking in our trading room that we may uh, wait for a possible retest to this broken structure and then continuation okay so um, that's still the case actually since we do have a break below this uh, structure on uh, the lower time frame and on the daily uh, time frame we are looking for a possible retest to the air, to this area and uh, <coughs> start to looking for bearish evidence on the dollar to see if it will uh, continue to the downside oil uh, pushing nicely to the um, to the upside testing uh, the level that i mentioned as well as a possible market objective so on the daily time frame we had a break out of the range and a retest of this uh, structure here this level going to be an important level for now the around the 36 area uh, on the four hour time frame we saw that the first initial move we had here then a correction and then continuation breakout range and another breakout and now we are inside uh, this range up here uh, as you see so uh, that is still uh, nothing new here on oil I still think the 29 is uh, the key support and uh, 36 here is a uh, um, key area of resistance for more upside uh, bulls need to break out uh, above this uh, high here above this uh, 36 25 uh, level and for now the short term support is uh, this area down here as you see it's been working nicely as support at the 31 ish area uh, held support here held support here and uh, it held support here so uh, next week any retest toward this area could be a minor support and down here at around the 29 is the bigger support if tested uh, to look for more uh, bullish continuation otherwise if they break above this previous high we look for a retest to this uh, broken structure and then continuation to the upside on uh, this market gold still holding um, 
support here i mentioned this level last week in my weekly overview as a possible level of uh, support and possible area where the bulls may defend and they uh, did that um, last week and uh, we've got a nice bounce from this level uh, they broke the trend line as well at this area as you see and there is a potential continuation i still think that uh, gold may reach uh, 108 soon but um, we do have a trouble level here this area need to be broken on the daily time frame for that continuation to happen so for now uh, as far as we are above this trend line this minor trend line i think uh, we may um, keep looking to buy the dips for that continuation to the upside next support level to the downside uh, or the first level that may get interesting is this area down here at around 1725 um, if tested uh, and we've got uh, bullish evidence we may look for a continuation keep an eye at 1740 1741 as a possible level of resistance because um, if we look left we know that this area been acting as a nice resistance previously and it might do that once again so as far uh, in my opinion as far as this low is not taken out we may still look for um, to buy the dips and even though uh, if this will be broken the next support level gonna be down here on uh, gold euro usd been bullish and moving nicely to the upside it almost uh, uh, extended toward the 1618 fibonacci extension after the breakout above this level here so we have a strong breakout on the daily if we look on the uh, weekly time frame we see that we have also a weekly break above previous high uh, and a major higher low got established here now so um, this uh, high up here at around 1618 gonna be an important level uh, for the bears to defend and as for now this um, rejection started at that level that could be also some profit taking um, uh, at the week um, at the end of the week so um, um, this should does not mean that we probably have um, new bears yet it could also be um, all the longs going all the way here taking profit at this uh, logical level looking left we we know that this area been very interesting resistance that's why we've got a very strong push to the downside so uh, for next week i think uh, if we get a, a retest to this uh, broken structure once as the, once again something like this to then look for possible bullish evidence here for continuation to the upside or a, another retest to this level any break above previous high here any break above this level that will signal even more continuation to the upside on the euro uh, sterling jappy looking on the daily time frame we have um, a clear higher low now um, down here we have a broken structure this high is broken on a daily time frame with this candle here so there is potential continuation to the upside here but friday was um, a stop at this level it could not continue higher and we've been trading this market to the upside so uh, in our trading room we were talking about any break above this above this level would signal continuation and that we would look for a retest and continuation to the upside uh, the break was a strong one so we've got the first retest we got another retest and i think as far as this uh, level here at around um, monthly s1 of this month uh, still holding as support we could keep seeing um, bullish defense at this level here for more upside on this market now if next week uh, you see a breakout above this area with that even without a retest back down could signal uh, even more bullishness on uh, this market as well all the way to a monthly pivot point keep in mind these are now for uh, the pivot point for may and um, we still do not have um, june's uh, pivot point until the market open later uh, tonight and uh, when that happens then i will uh, change my uh, monthly pivot yeah USD Jappy, a very weird push to the upside here from uh, just above 107. My support was uh, 107, so we were looking for 107, uh, as I mentioned uh, many times uh, in the past, as a uh, possible um, level for the bulls to defend. Um, but the market bounced higher from uh, at around uh, 107.8, and uh, it was actually a very weird move. If we look at the stocks, um, 
on Friday uh, they did a push the last three hours uh, and the market um, sentiment changed but for uh, for the Jappy, the move started uh, much much earlier as you see we have much more hours here and it was a very strong push to the upside so um, there is talks about BOG uh, intervention and all that I'm not sure what the main reason is we know that 107 is support and we know that 108 is another important resistance so uh, it is still the same here nothing has changed we 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 are in some kind of a ranging market and the most important level for the upside is this structure here as far as this is not broken uh, bears will will keep uh, the bears will keep defend that level but if next week you see a break above this we may see continuation to the upside but it it been showing that this level still a key resistance and as far as it is not broken um, it will not be uh, easy for the bulls to push higher usd chief still inside this range on the daily time frame uh, it is a clear range here you see it um, clearly like this uh, below the 200 moving average tested many times failed and um, since then we start getting lower highs lower highs and equal lows now down here this is the key support got tested and for more downside bears near to break below it so uh, keep playing this range for now until you have a break out of it this is the range i'm talking about the uh, bottom of it is down here and uh, each time the market reached that level i think uh, the bears might might try to defend it uh, and start pushing to the upside once again but if they fail we have another push to the downside maybe to tag this low down here as well USD CAD, I'm still having the same view here. Uh, it is a bearish market. It broke support strongly and then it halted here like for three days or something. Um, not uh, able to push lower, but we're still looking at the same structure and the same scenario. We are actually in our trading room. We are looking for any retest to this level to try to uh, take a short and a continuation. We've got a bounce here. It did not reach the level then consolidation. Another bounce that did not reach the level and um, we're still waiting on that. We have also a nice little range here. I think any break below this range um, could signal also continuation. We look then for retest of the range bottom and for the continuation. So it will look something like this. You wait for a break, you wait for a retest and then you go for the continuation and maybe a gap close on this market uh, soon. Aussie USD also still a bullish market uh, daily time frame we still have higher highs and higher lows we do have problem as I mentioned in the weekly overview at the 200 moving average as an important uh, area we also have this previous swing high and we have a lots of retest on this level on the daily time frame so it is a pretty important level uh, here for the bears to defend and uh, for now as far as the price is holding above this structure here uh, we should still be uh, buyers and trying to buy the dips yeah so uh, next week uh, for me right now it looks like a possible uh, there is a pressure build up for a break to the upside and if that would be the case we will look for a retest and continuation otherwise if we get a retest to this first uh, structure here which is um, down here at this area we look for a read uh, for a, a bounce from that level uh, as well but again guys the look of it at the moment this higher lows keep coming uh, uh, higher and the equal highs here usually usually means we are building up for a break to the upside so that is what i'm most interested of to see next week and uh, new zealand usd almost the same scenario uh, this one is lagging a little bit behind so this one did not reach the 200 moving average yet but it did reach this uh, multi-year multi-month uh, level i would say a couple of um, times here on the weekly time frame holding strongly as support and that is about to, to get tested or it it got tested already so as you see here after this break above this very important structure the price stuck at this area without a continuation so even here 
I'm sensing some kind of uh, pressure build up on this range for a break to the upside. Uh, short term trades that would be um, this uh, support down here and the 200 moving average. So uh, for short time trades, I think any retest toward this 200 moving average and this broken structure could be a good level to look for another bounce up. Otherwise, if broken, we may see a short term move to the downside before the next continuation to come. OK, so uh, first off, we are looking for a uh, structure down here that may hold as support and for a bounce or a break out to the upside and continuation. And that would be it for the YouTube version of this video. As usual, I will continue with the rest for our uh, trading room. And uh, this whole list, I do that each and every day for our trading room at the morning briefing video. And uh, yeah, we still have the 14 days trial for $1 only. If you're interested, just do that, uh, take that, uh, use the uh, coupon code trial cancel it whenever you want there is no questions to be asked and for those of you who feels like you need to fill your trading gaps our courses is um, are up there for you to grab so um, take a look at uh, my uh, page at uh, pa-fx.com pa and see if we can help you to get your trading to the next level thanks a lot guys see you next week bye bye